My first guest is a 17-time WWE champion and one of the biggest movie stars in the world. Now his life is the subject of a new NBC comedy series called Young Rock, which premieres February 16th at 8 p.m. Here's the one and only Dwayne Johnson. Ha <laughs> ha, it's a stud right there. That's what My I'm talking man. about. That is Good what I'm talking you, about. It is great to see you, man. You look great. Uh, you, you dedicate 100% to every single thing you do, and that's what I, I love about you, but you've always done that since I've known you. Uh, your new tequila, uh, Terramana, uh, by the way, it is unbelievably delicious. That is a fantastic you, tequila. It is unbelievable. I remember when you first launched it, I go, dude, let's try this stuff. It's my favorite. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I sent you some. I, yeah. Dude, it, it's, it's empty. It's done. It's an empty box. <laughs> it's great. But you broke records in his first year of business. It was, uh, it, was, it was incredible. We wound up becoming, we wound up breaking, we wound up being the first, the, the biggest launch in the history of all spirits, and that's all spirits across the board. That's vodka, that's whiskey, it's rum, it's, it's gin. It was absolutely incredible. And to give yes. you a little bit of context, we, we wound up selling in, in less than a year over 300,000 nine liter cases. And when George Clooney sold his tequila line, they were selling about 160,000 and we <laughs> sold 300 in less than a year. I mean, it's just, it's really crazy. But I, I gotta tell you something, you know, as you said, you, you, you do everything like you do anything and that's with 100% commitment. And, I wanted to make good quality tequila for, for people and bring people together. I wanted to make the tequila of the people. Good for you. I love it. Um, I, I want to talk about uh, the show, about your life. Uh, let's talk about Young Rock. It premieres next <laughs> Tuesday here on NBC. Uh, was it you who realized that your life could be a show or did someone else bring the idea to you? And you go, it could be. You, you know, there's guys who I work very closely with uh, who you've met in the past uh, as we're all buddies. Um, and... I would travel with these guys all across the country and everywhere we would go. And this was back when I was wrestling and I would wrestle in a different town every night. We would all travel together. And every time we would land every major city across the country, I would say, yeah, you know, see that gas station over there? Well, you know, that's where I bought my first car from a crackhead. Like, what? <laughs> yeah. And, you know, and then in the next town we would go to like, yeah, you see that Motel 6? Well, here's what happened there. So all these stories, finally, you know, we started thinking, well, I wonder, I wonder if there's value in creating a show that has the lens of comedy, but to be able to share the life lessons I've learned. You have three different actors playing you at, at the age of 10, 15, <laughs> and 18. Uh, you also appear as yourself in the year 2032, uh, running for president. Um, <laughs> Don't ever change, dude. Please promise me just don't ever change. It is so fun. It is so fun to watch everything you do, man. I love it. Uh, how did you uh, How did you decide that you would tell the story that way? Um, you know, it was uh, our show creator, Nanachka Khan, who's just such a brilliant woman. Um, we were trying to figure out a way. Well, first of all, we, we wanted to figure out three points of my life uh, that were defining times. When I was 10 years old, living here in Hawaii, when I was 15 years old, uh, after multiple arrests and doing a lot of things I shouldn't have been doing. And then when I was 18 years old, when I started to get my life a little bit back on track going to the University of Miami, um, then she had said, well, ultimately the audience is, is gonna want to see you. What's a creative way that we can infuse you into the show? So we sat for a few weeks and it was her, she came up with the idea. She said, well, what if we set it in 2032 and you're running for president? And I said, I don't know, I mean, it's, it feels a little political. And she goes, well, there might be a few people who might wanna see you run for president, so think about it. So I went home, I talked to Lauren, as you and I do, we go home and we talk to our wives. That's it. Uh, and Lauren said, I think you should do it. I think it's great. That's the final step you need. Uh, also, the yeah. actors who portray your parents on the show are great. And you know I love your mom. And uh, I was going to ask you. She loves you, by the way. Does your, did your mom weigh in on uh, casting for, for who should play her? She wanted to know. She, I told her, I said, listen, you're in good hands. Um, uh, I, I'm going to cast someone who, who, I, who I think you're really going to be happy with. And I said, mom, but just keep in mind, we have to, let's, we have to be authentic with our casting. I want to make sure that it, it's there's a woman who is of Polynesian descent, maybe Samoan descent. She said, absolutely. Um, I know exactly who you should cast. I said, who? She goes, 
J-Lo. Well, <laughs> hold on. <laughs> Dude, my, mom, my mom did the same. I, I, I did a movie where in a flashback, that my mom was Sharon Stone in a movie. And my mom told uh -huh. everyone that she could. She was like, oh, my God. Uh, finally, someone did it right. They cast Sharon Stone <laughs> as the <laughs> It's like unbelievable. It was so, it's just the best. Uh, uh, I, I just saw a video, uh, uh, you know, I, I, I love watching your Instagrams and there was, there was a video that you posted that was beautiful and it was you and your mom um, sitting at the headstone of uh, your grandparents in Hawaii and singing this beautiful song, but your mom played great ukulele, and I go, wait, what? I did not know that she could play... Did your mom play the ukulele? Oh, yes. She is... She... Hey, give, give my mom really quickly and tell her to bring the ukulele. It's right there on the inside of the door. <laughs> what? Does she... Mom! Good enough, get the ukulele. <laughs> okay, got it. Is your mom there? She's right here. Here, come here. Okay, good. Put that down? Yeah. Okay, come here. Come here, I want you to say hello to somebody, you know. Who? Oh. It's Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh, mom, you're gorgeous. So good. How did, good to Did see you remember you. me? Are you yeah. From our bit, New Year's, Happy New Year. I remember, remember our bit. I know, I know. Do you remember what you did? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I remember laying. I remember laying on the ground, pretending I was passed yeah. out, and I know. we were holding that empty. Awesome. We were holding we empty bottles of champagne. Are you? Oh, you were yes. so funny. We had the best time. That, that was, was the best. Lauren's mom and I. We had the best time that night. Dude, you, yeah, and she constantly. We didn't expect you. We didn't know you were gonna be there with your wife. She called me. Jimmy's here, and we're doing this. I was like, okay, mom. I told him I said hello, but come on. I said, don't bother him. Don't bother Jimmy. We had so I much said, fun. I said, okay, I won't. No, no. Honestly. Seriously, Dwayne, your mom was fantastic. She was so. Yeah, we, we had a great I time. We had the best time. But I just want. I was just talking about you playing the ukulele. I did not know that you played the ukulele. Obviously, how would I guess oh. this? He was. He was asking when we went to visit Grandma and Grandpa oh, in, the, in their that? grave. Yeah. Yes, and it was the most beautiful. I, I told him that. Yeah. You... Every time we come to Hawaii, we go up to visit my parents. Yeah. It was beautiful. So. She has. Let's. I, uh, want, I let, have let, a ukulele. I know. <laughs> let's uh, let let let's sing him a song real quick. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. 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 I got a song. Jimmy. No. 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 Oh, sure. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Go for a walk. Tell it, tell it, tell it means too much stuff. I love my Japanese. I love you. Take it easy. We love you, Jimmy. Oh, yes, we do. Okay, I'll go with it. We love you, Jimmy. And that is true. When we're away from you, we're blue. Oh, Jimmy, we love you. Oh, my, I love you. Good job. I'm huh? sending love Good right job. back to you. Mom just so crushed, nice by the way. You, you just stole the interview. You're unbelievable. You are a superstar. I, I, I love when she goes, I love when she goes, we got one more. I'm like, what? We do? <laughs> <laughs> we love you, Jimmy. That, that was, was awesome. unbelievable. Good to see you, Jimmy. You're gorgeous. It's great to see you. Uh, and uh, yeah, happy new year again. Let's do it again. Uh, look, guys, we'll come on we'll back. We have we'll more Tonight Show when we come back. Come on, we're going to talk Young Rock. <laughs> okay. Say hi to your lovely wife. Okay, I will, Ma. I will. Leave, Ma. <laughs> hey. I'm number one, second and none, a sufficient... Uh, uh-huh, on and on and on. Uh, I said, and it's on.